you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. We have yet another set of foot birthday cards in the weekly objectives and in my opinion some fantastic cards first of all we have 89 rated milinkovic savage now you need to score in 10 separate rival wins with syria players to get milinkovic savage can be any syria player as long as he plays in the syria you score in 10 separate rival wins boom you get yourself this milinkovic savage card which by the way looks really really good in game now we also have a cdm boateng Another card that looks really, really good. Uh, you have to score in 10 separate rival wins using German plays to unlock this Boateng at CDM. Uh, now, these two obviously are in positions you wouldn't necessarily desire them to be in. Uh, Boateng is more of a CB uh, and Milinkovic Savic is more of a centre mid. But you can imagine, you know, maybe you play like a, a, a CDM, uh, I forget that, Munier, CDM Munier and this guy and you swap them in game. So Munier is playing at right back and this guy is playing at centre mid. Or maybe you play, I don't know, like a Lukaku uh, centre back card and this guy uh, striker and you swap them in game and Lukaku's playing at striker and uh, Boateng's playing at, at centre back. I don't know, you can find a way to get them in. And the last one is actually Freddy Guarin. You have to win seven online single matches using 11 Chinese Super League players. This one's actually pretty easy as well. Uh, and for a fantastic looking Guarin card as well, if you guys played some of the older FIFAs like FIFA 13 and FIFA 14, I'm sure you could appreciate Freddy Guarin when he was at Inter. He was an absolute machine. Great, great card. Fantastic long shots. Fantastic card in general. Um, and all in all, uh, three very good cards in my opinion. I'm glad EA are giving them to us for free. Now, you'll notice a trend. Now, both of these have, you have to score with a certain player or a certain type of player in 10 separate wins. These are very easily done in conjunction. You can do these at the exact same time uh, if you have the right squad for it. I'll show you what kind of squad to build. Sort of, you know, you can follow the same lines. Mine's going to be very expensive because... I'm a pay to win loser, but you guys obviously will have cheaper teams or maybe you have expensive teams. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know what kind of teams you guys have got. Now, this one's pretty straightforward. Just build an, a Chinese Super League team uh, to the, you know, the, what you can afford, basically. Just build one that kind of fits your budget. Um, I'm sure you guys can build a Chinese Super League team. It's really easy. Just go into uh, online single matches. This is something I recommend you guys do as well, by the way. Um, you have to assist 10 goals in squad battles this week. That's literally it. On semi-pro difficulty, you can do this in one game. It's really easy. Um, as long as you score, you're getting an assist, basically. Unless you've tackled the player, then just pass it away. Um, but the loan prime icons are actually decent. You get a seven-game loan, and you can get anyone. I got Hullet last week for doing it. So all I'm saying is don't, don't count out that weekly objective because it's actually pretty decent. Now, I'm going to show you guys the team I'm going to be using to complete the uh, the Boateng and Milinkovic Savic in conjunction. Now, as you'll see, what I'll be doing is I'll be changing in game to a 4 1 2 1 2. Uh, and I'll actually show you what my team will look like when I change in game to the 4 1 2 1 2. Uh, there it is. I, I changed to a narrow. Uh, it will actually look like this, basically. Um, that will be, That is what my team will look like in game. Uh, I'll have be playing uh, Ronaldo and that flashback uh, S5 up top, who are both decent strikers and both will probably run absolute havoc. Uh, I'll be playing Best at Cam. I'll be playing um, my man Douglas Costa over here at centre mid. He will probably get subbed off for um, for Emre Chan. I, I don't doubt that he'll get subbed off for Emre Chan. Uh, and Emre Chan's actually the perfect player to, to use in this because Emre Chan counts for both. He's German in the in the Serie A. I don't think there's actually many players that are German in Serie A, if, if any at all, apart from I think Kadira and Emre Chan. Um, there might be one more that I'm missing or two more that I'm missing. Yeah, so we've got Sami Kadira, Emre Chan, and Yunez. We've got Yunez as well. So this guy might be useful for you guys to play. Uh, but what I recommend doing is uh, is just trying to build the best Syria German hybrid you can. Uh, go and do low Matthias if you've got enough. If you can't afford to actually do his card because he's an absolute beast. And I guarantee he'll score you a bunch of goals. Um... Apart from that, I recommend just building a Syria slash Bundesliga team and completing it at the same time. Uh, you'll find uh, if you score one or two goals with a Syria player, people usually will go very attacking to try and get it back. So you can easily just score and, and, and get the goal with your German player. Um, I would recommend doing them at the same time, though. I don't think it's smart to do them one after the other. I just don't think that's smart at all. And obviously, it is in division rivals. It's pretty obvious that yeah, are trying their best to make people play division rivals because they made everyone in a higher division, essentially, as, as you can see i'm in division one now which i was in uh, division three previously so uh you know ea are trying their best to make people play rivals this week and i think they're trying to push up the uh the points and whatnot for rivals as well so what i highly recommend you guys do 
um, when you're playing rivals is just play out the game. So there's no point rage quitting, even if you go like four or five nil down, because honestly, the extra points are going to be probably vital this week if you're trying to get a high rank. If you've if you've been moving up to Division One, you know you want the uh, you know you want rank uh, one or rank two rewards over rank three. I mean, rank three is not bad. You get yourself a couple uh, 50ks and a couple uh, mega packs, but rank two untradeable you get yourself two ultimate packs and rank one you get two ultimate pa packs and two 35k packs they're just head and shoulders above rank three so i recommend not rage quitting because it just isn't any point and i recommend uh if you guys honestly are on a budget uh probably it's worth selling your teams if you really want the cards now obviously it's it's if you are desperate for the cards now i don't know if these cards are in uh are they in concepts? That is a question. No, we want to go to uh, concepts. They are. So if you look at this card, for example, this card will be a fantastic centre mid. Fantastic centre mid. He's got four star, four star. He's six foot three, high medium. Incredible, incredible stats. 95, uh, sorry, 85 uh, interceptions, 93 head accuracy. 89 jumping on a six foot three player. He's rarely not going to win a header. Amazing stamina and strength. Um, same with Boateng. Boateng looks like a fantastic player. Boateng looks like a fantastic uh, uh, centre-back. If you can move him down to centre-back, uh, he's had a little bit of a pace increase. But the main increases that I'm seeing is dribbling and passing, which is really good. Uh, and that card, again, he's got four-star weak foot. He's six foot four, decent jumping, great defending stats, 98 strength, 85 vision, 85 short passing, 95 long passing is pretty decent. 94 reactions, 96 composure. He's just got very decent stats. Guarin is another one. Guarin is just one of those ones you just want to make yourself a decent Chinese league team. They're actually pretty cheap to make these days. Uh, and Guarin, I highly recommend if you guys have the time, go for this card. Because this guy is a beast. His long shots are incredible. Uh, I just think his card is really well-rounded. And I know he's going to be difficult to fit in a team. But he'd be a good super sub, you know. And he's got four-star skills as well. I think he'd be a very good super sub. And I will definitely be, if I find the time, be going for that Guarin as well as the other one. So... That is the best advice pretty much I can give you. Uh, I just think make a two-striker formation and play a Serie A striker and a... Um play Serie A striker and uh, and a German striker pretty much and uh, as you see I'll be going with uh, with Ronaldo and S5. That's the best advice I can give you really. I know a lot of people currently are going to be saying you know if you're on Xbox the test nat type glitch is stupid. It really is stupid. If you could go ahead and do that then then obviously it's 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 not really any of my business but it's a little bit stupid and what you find as well if you want to quite try and do this quite easily uh if you put home wins and actually give people home wins you'll find people give you home wins uh first goal wins a lot of people do abide by them now a lot of people don't as well uh you'll find a lot of people have the team name home wins and then they'll back out if they're away uh, people are a little bit scummy sometimes. Uh, same with first goal wins. You'll find that you score and they won't quit. Um, and, you know, some people are... They, they do let the community down quite a lot, those kind of people. But I think you'll find that the majority of the community is pretty decent. Um, and that you'll find that they're pretty uh, they're pretty good at what they're doing. You know, they will be honourable, admirable. And they will, you know, uh, give you wins and whatnot when you deserve them. So, that is pretty much it for the video. Um, to Literally, just to reiterate what I've said... Uh, take away what you will from it. I know, I understand my team is incredibly paid to win. I totally understand that. I know that a lot of people won't be able to afford even a half of this team, you know? Um, I get that. I've invested a lot of money into my content this year and a lot of money into the game uh, for content. So I've got like, you know, some of the best players on the game, which I'm, I'm very grateful and lucky to have. I really am lucky and grateful to have these players. Um, but you know, uh, it, you know, I've been put in a great position and, and I know a lot of people won't be able to afford this. So I highly recommend just trying to build around what you can afford. You know, your own limits players like, for example, 88 Royce, I imagine is probably about 50, 60 K right now. And he looks phenomenal in game. He looks like a really, really good player. 86 pace, 87 dribbling, 87 shooting and 85 passing. Uh, looks like a fantastic player. He's German, obviously from the, from the Bundesliga or even just looking at like someone like Timo Werner. Timo Werner is actually really, really good this year. Um, along with a bunch of other players, you know, if you can afford a higher version of him. Uh, Sane is a great player this year as well. Sane is fantastic, as well as there's a bunch of Serie A players, depending on how you play. You know, Dabal is not that expensive anymore. Icardi is pretty cheap and a great player. Immobile is cheap and a great player. Uh, there's a few SBCs out and whatnot. So that is it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like down below. Let me know down below if you found it helpful or not. I'd be grateful to hear your feedback and your responses. Massive thank you for the support recently as well. We just hit... Uh, just today, actually, we just hit 78,000 subscribers. We're only 22,000 away from the big 100,000 subscribers, which is very exciting. Hopefully, that comes at some point soon because I am I'm really excited. I, just want, I want to get that plaque. I want to hang it up on the wall. I think it'll be dope to have. Um, 
And much thank you to the support on the videos as well. We've not had a video in a long time hit less than 500 likes, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm grateful for that. Anyway, lads, it's been hey, but you guys are fantastic. And I'll see you lads later.